On this week's weekly video fishing forecast, I'll have a rundown of all the fishing related shows going on around the island this weekend. I also have a list of the ponds that will be stocked and Paul McCain has another fly tying demo. All here at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. What a great show last week, and thanks for stopping by the Fishman booth and saying hello. This week we have more shows, starting with the Long Island Boat Show. This show starts Friday and runs through Sunday at NASA Coliseum, and the parking is free. First 100 kids will get a free life jacket Saturday and Sunday. I will be there all day on Saturday, so stop by and say hello. Then also on Saturday, the Sag Harbor Fire Department holds their 7th Annual Fisherman's Flea Market from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., then on Sunday, I will be at the Windenhurst Fishing Flea Market from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. again. Get all the details at thefisherman.com slash events or by clicking on the card in the top right. Be sure to stop by the Fisherman table and say hello and renew your subscription or be a new subscriber. With a new subscription or renewal, get a pack of circle hooks and fish bites. The Long Island Boat Show is back at the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum March 11th through the 13th. Long Island's best boat dealers will be there with huge savings that get you out on the water this boating season. For boat show information, visit nyboatshows.com. The New York DEC is getting ready to stock the lakes once again in Nassau and Suffolk County, so get those light tackles, spinning, and fly rods ready to go. Trout fishing is a great way to start off the season. Hit the link in the description below to view the lakes being stocked this spring with the number of each trout going to each one. Speaking of freshwater, we have Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Paul. Well, hello, Matt. Here I am. I'm checking out. It's cold today. I have to tell you, it was 50 degrees yesterday, but it's cold today. But I decided, you know what? I, it's nice and sunny. I've still got to get out there. I, I didn't have time to go fishing, but I do have time to explore all the different opportunities we have here. And I'm actually here not at Massapequa Reservoir. I'm actually at Massapequa Lake, which is down by Merrick Road. Look at up all the opportunities we have. There's so much we could do here. I've been very busy with Kenny planning our expo on March 26th, the Fly Fishing Expo of Long Island. And let me tell you, we're working hard to make it the best whatever. We got so many different presentations and tires and seminars and casting demonstrations and great vendors. So there's going to be a lot to going on. Um, getting back to fishing now, of course, the Connect Quant has been doing well. Uh, guys like Liam and his crew, they went out last Saturday after after the Ward Melville fishing show and uh, they reported they did pretty good uh, So that's an opportunity the other guys have been going up fishing on uh, the Croton system and also fishing the Connecticut rivers because they're all open and uh, Some little black stones are starting to come off. So this is the time to get out I haven't heard of anything and I it is early as far as the saltwater scene goes, but who knows We'll see what's going on. But I am, like I said, March 26th, mark it on your calendars. It's going to be a great day. If you're thinking about fly fishing, come in and try it out. So until next week, tie lines, everybody. Paul will have another one of his fly tying demos at the end of this video. Hey, folks, Captain Mark here. Spring is approaching, and the Edison New Jersey show is March 18th through the 20th, all right? So come over to the Tony Marsha booth. Meet Marsha. Kid Cochise, Tex, we'll be there on Saturday, probably Sunday morning, all right? What we're going to be showing off is the new Masha Mojos, Masha Spoons, and new for 2022, the beautiful Masha Drift Spoons. They are deadly. From Northport, we have Mark McGowan from Cal Harbor Bait and Tackle. Hey, folks, it's great to see you back again. You know, the freshwater scene is still rocking and rolling. Add to the fact that brown trout and rainbow trout have been stocked in so many ponds around Long Island and upstate that there's a whole lot to do. I've been out, been having a great time. There's a lot to see. Ospreys are around. Get on those trout before the ospreys eat them up. Also, what's great is that uh, this is the last month that you can get for our April 1st drawing. You know that every time you spend Cow Harbor 50 bucks, you get a raffle ticket. Is an uh, infinite amount for uh, anybody who comes in every time in multiples of 50 bucks. One raffle tick goes towards an awesome custom rod that I'll build you for. It could be boat rod, 
surf casting rod, fresh water rod. It goes towards 500 bucks. Something that you want, the way that you want it. Not a cheap giveaway. This is an awesome raffle. It's always something that we do at Cal Harbor. I don't know if you've been following us. We did a huge uh, special ET plug giveaway also on our Instagram page. So you always want to follow Cal Harbor Tackle on Instagram. Go to our YouTube channel. Follow the reports. We get a lot of how-tos that you might not see on some of our social media casts. So give it a check. Like us on Facebook. And definitely get involved with coming into the shop. You know, real service, custom rods, whatever you need. 50 bucks. That ticket towards 500 bucks. It's like you're getting huge payback. On top of that, you always get customer loyalty points. What does that mean for every 200 points for every 200 dollars you spend at cal harbor you get 10 bucks back in store credit you use it for any type of future purchases you want it's just so many awesome deals that we have here because we love our customers we love you i really hope to see you out it's been wonderful to get a lot of support we've only done uh, a couple shows this year and uh, we're really busy doing service work we want to dedicate all our time getting these custom orders out for you so i don't want to dilly dally at some of these shows we're always going to be at the shop listen drop on by give us a call 631-239-1631 we can't wait to see you this heat is just, uh, the heat's coming out. We're going to hit, I think, like snow again later on this week. The weather can't figure itself out. But the fish, they're on their way. New Jersey definitely has fish. Customers that we build rods for and send them up to Jersey have been sending some nice pictures. So the fishing, it's definitely started. Get your gear together. Drop on by. Say hi to Cal Harbor. We love you. And until next week, I bid you all peace. Tight lines. Hello, everybody. This is Paul at River Bay Outfitters, and this is week eight, and uh, we're coming to the end now. As you might have guessed, by all these flies we tied, I prefer simple flies. Uh, you, you know, I hate to lose a fly that I spent 40 minutes on. Why a fly that catches fish that could, took me five minutes, I don't feel so bad when it ends up in the trees or in some bluefish's mouth. But anyway... This is a very simple fly. Fished a lot down south. Fishing in the, in the uh, you know the surf on the on the west coast for snook up against the up against the mangroves for baby tarpon. Up here for uh, stripers, bluefish, smaller versions for snappers, fluke love them. Uh, it's a very very simple fly. We call it a glass minnow. So here we go. And so let's go to the tying bench and tie us up one. All right, we're starting with a, a standard. Uh, this is just a standard saltwater hook, right? This is actually a size one, but you could do this at any size you want. And again, my thread that I'm going to use is flat wax nylon. You can also use mono, but the problem with mono is it's not very strong. But if you decide to use epoxy on this, it disappears. So it could might be a good choice. You have to decide. So I'm going to put a nice little thread base down here. And wrap it back. Take my scissors and cut it. Now we're using, again, one of my favorite products. Right. One of my favorite products is uh, Bill's Body Braid. And we're going to use, uh, oh, maybe, I'm going to cut this in half. I'm just going to use maybe six, seven inches of it. So I'm just going to cut it off like this. Right. Got to tie it in right here. Wrap back on it to about the bend of the hook. This is where my hook, my thread hangs, just past the point. That's where the hook starts bending. Bring it forward and let it hang right there. Wrap this forward. And 
I'm going to tie it in rough right here. Got that. Save it for my next fly. And I'm going to build a little lump right here. And I'll explain why. So this fly typically uses um, bucktail. Now, bucktail is really good. It's a terrific material, and I love using it. But one of the things about bucktails are all, most natural materials, they're not super uh, durable. So I'm using actually some, this right here, it's just a, like fake hair uh, that I use. I, uh, it's durable. It can be trimmed. It has some taper to it. And I want a small bunch, not too much. Remember, less is more. Less is more. So I'm going to take it, tie it on right in front of that lump. And I'm going to bring it up. Tie it off. You know, I have to build up a nice thick head. Got to actually throw a couple of loop wraps right behind it, so it really perks up. Just like that. Now, you can leave it like this, or you could tap it. You could actually add a little flash to it, which I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little piece of pearl. Bill's body braid. This is pearls, maybe about three inches. And I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to tie it in and I'm going to bring it down on the sides. See how I did that? Brought it right down the sides. See, it's on even sides. And I'm going to build a nice little head right here. And do a whip finish. And tie it off and cut it. Now, what I do with this Bill's body braid is I actually brush it out. Gives a nice little sparkle. The static electricity is brutal today. <sighs> then I take my scissors, I'll take this out, take my sharp scissors. And I'll trim a little bit off the, the back end like this. And a little bit like that. Yeah, looks pretty good. And it's much more durable than, uh, than, uh, than the bucktail. But uh, it is, like I said, I do love uh, natural materials. But this, this is actually uh, pretty durable. It lasts and looks good in the water. The hair's become very translucent. Uh, it's pretty good. Now, 
as far as going with eyes, some people glue some eyes on it and then they epoxy the head. It works. It does add a little bit of weight to it, but what I prefer to do for my own fly box is actually I paint the eyes on, right? And it really, really, I, I don't know if it, if it helps the fishing, but it certainly does, uh, it certainly does uh, work good for me, you know? So try these up. I mean, they're very simple, guaranteed, guaranteed will work. So till next week, tight lines and happy tying. Remember to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, to be a subscriber to the Fishwind Magazine to be part of the Dreamboat Contest and Coastal Kayak Clash. Check out this video's description on YouTube for all the related links and index for specific reports. Please come by and say hello to us at one of the upcoming shows. Let us know how we're doing. Hope to see you this weekend at one of these shows. And be patient. Spring is just around the corner. See you right here next week at thefishman.com. Steigercraft boats, built by people who fish our waters. Serious anglers choose Steigercraft for their 40 years of boat building experience right here in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. Visit Steigercraft.com for a dealer near you.